What up y'all? Gonna be showing you how to play Genshin Impact on your Apple Silicon Mac, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you're on Intel, all you have to do is YouTube or Google how to use Bootcamp, and then you can run the native Windows version if your Mac's powerful enough. So I'm gonna be showing you two methods, Play Cover and Crossover, both with their pros and cons. Play Cover lets you run the iOS version and uses less storage, but you won't get the same graphics or customization. Crossover lets you run the PC version, but you'll want a more powerful machine, ideally with more than 8GB of RAM. And it does cost money, though there is a free trial so you can test it out and see if it's worth it to you. Now there is a free way to run the PC version using Yaggle, or yet another anime game launcher, but as of Genshin 5.6, Hoyo changed the way the game updates, so you would still need crossover or something similar just to update the game. Because of that, I don't think it's worth covering here unless Yaggle figures out how to handle updates on its own, in which case if they do, I'll make a video on that. If you really want to try it, you can Google how, but for this video, we're sticking to play cover and crossover. Now each method has its caveats, like a small texture bug in Natlin on crossover, or play cover needing extra steps to update, not a deal breaker, and I'll cover those later in the tutorial. Now, as Mac gamers, we already have to deal with workarounds and third-party apps just to play games like everyone else. So I wanted to put you onto a tool that's free to use forever and makes the whole experience safer, Proton VPN. It's based in Switzerland with strict privacy laws, completely ad free, and even their free plan has no speed or data caps. But the real value is in VPN Plus, with full access to thousands of servers, streaming unlocks, and secure core security. You can try it with my link in the description and support the channel at the same time. And with that being said, let's get into it. So first up is going to be Play Cover to run the mobile version. So we're going to go to playcover.io. I'll leave it in the description. So once you're here, go into the upper right hand corner and click download, click latest hit allow and then in our downloads folder double click the DMG drag it to our applications and then in our applications find and double click play cover hit open now we need to go get the IPA file for the game we're gonna use decrypt.day again I'll leave it in the description and not for all games but for the big games like Genshin you have to log in so in the upper right hit login gonna log in with discord and once you're logged in go to the search bar and type in the game click the one by Cognosphere and on the right hand side click download you can pick whichever one but I usually use the one with the cloud symbol also if for some reason it's grayed out and it's saying something like you're using an ad blocker but you know you're not I'll leave a video in the description on how to get around this but anyways if it lets you click download click get download link download and you might have to hit allow it might open up a new tab and you might have to go back a tab and then hit allow there it just depends on what kind of mood it's in but anyways let that download and once it's finished I'll be back and once that's finished downloading click and drag the IPA file into play cover it's gonna extract and once it's finished you'll see Genshin pop up right here now before we get into how to play with mouse and keyboard and controller I want to show you how to update the game real quick so whenever there's a new update you can't actually update it from the game itself you have to go back to decrypt.day and you'll see on the right hand side the version when the new version comes out you can see it here download it it'll give you the new IPA file and then you just click and drag it over here and it will update the game for you and if you ever want to delete the game it's not as simple as right clicking and hitting uninstall app there's actually a separate folder with all the game data stored, so it's a whole separate process. If you want to see how to do that, I'll leave that video linked in the description as well. All right, with that said, let's double click the game. It's going to verify and it will load up and then we can click the upper left to go full screen. Sign in using your username and password. Then you have to agree to their terms of service and privacy policy and hit accept. Click your server and start. It's going to download resources and then you can click the bottom left and then click select resources to download to download the full game. That's going to take a little bit so I will be back when it's finished. All right once that's finished it's going to boot you to the menu. Now to play with controller and mouse and keyboard. All right so for controller go to your settings and depending on what controller you have I'm going to use a 
DualSense controller. So I'm gonna hold the PlayStation and the select button at the same time, connect. And once that's connected, we can click the upper left button, go to settings and change the control type to controller and you will be good to go. Now to play with mouse and keyboard, there's two things you can do. You can either build your own play map or you can download the one that I made and import it into your play cover. And the reason we need to use a play map is because we are running the mobile version. So this game only registers touch presses, which it sees when you click a button with the mouse. So what we're gonna do is basically make a button on the keyboard correspond with a press on the screen. So to do that, we need to go up into key mapping, hit open key map editor, and click a spot. First, I'm going to do the WASD, find the little movement pad right here, and click the bottom right one, it's WASD. Now, with play cover, you usually wanna make that a lot bigger, it just helps. So I'm going to press command and up arrow and that will increase the size. Then I'm gonna make the normal attack button, so click it, click the up option, and you can leave it B if you want it to be left mouse button, or you can press a button on your keyboard to make it something else. And basically, you're just going to click an open space, click the top one, and pick the button you want. Now, for the mouse, click about the middle of the screen, maybe a little above, and click the mouse looking icon in the bottom left. Now, if you don't wanna do this for each and every button, what you can do is click the link in the description. It will bring you to my Ko-fi page. It's free to download. You just have to put in an email. And if you feel like it, you can donate a dollar or two, but no pressure. So we're going to exit out of the game. Once you've downloaded the play map, right click Genshin and hit import key mapping. Go to wherever you have the play map, click it and hit open. It might say this key map may have been created for another application. It's fine. Just hit proceed. It'll say key mapping imported at the bottom. And now we can double click the game again. Now, if you hit option on your keyboard, the mouse will disappear. It'll say cursor captured. And then when you move your mouse, it will be used to look around. When you want to get your mouse back, just hit option again and it'll be back. Now, let me show you the play map real quick. So go up top key mapping, open key map editor. This is basically what I have. If you want to change anything, click the button. When you see it's highlighted red, then you can press the button on your keyboard and that will change it. If you want to delete anything, highlight it and press command delete, or you can go up top, key mapping, delete selected element, and it will disappear. Then once you're done, go up top, hit key mapping, close key map editor. Your mouse will disappear because it's being used to look around. Again, just hit option on your keyboard and it will come back. And that's about it for play cover. Now I'm going to show you how to play the PC version with crossover. Now, like I said earlier, the only issue I noticed with crossover was a artifact bug, which you can see here. There's some black on the ground. Now, from what I tested, this is only in some spots in Natlin. I briefly went over all the other major cities and stuff and it wasn't there so I don't know why it's like that I don't know how to fix it so if you do want to play the PC version just note that that is the only current bug I found but I'm gonna show you how to do the free trial anyways so you can try it for yourself and make sure there's nothing else wrong so you can click the link in the description it's going to bring you to this page it is my affiliate link but like I said earlier we're gonna do the free trial but if you do click that link and end up buying it does support me and the channel so thank you in advance if you do. And something I wanted to clear up real quick, actually, if you do end up deciding to buy it, you can see it says 12 month support. It's kind of misleading because that doesn't mean it's like a subscription service. Basically what it means is you get 12 months of updates. Let's say you buy crossover today, which at the time of recording is version 25.1. Let's say 12 months from now, we'll be on version 26.1. If you bought crossover today, you would keep version 26.1 for life. It's just if if you wanted further updates after the 12 months, then you would have to resubscribe. But they always have sales and have special renewal pricing, so odds are you would never pay the full 74 USD again. But anyways, for all intents and purposes, we are going to do the 14 day free trial. So on the left hand side, click try now. You're going to need to enter your name and email and then click download trial now. Once you do, it will give you the crossover zip file or maybe it will unzip itself. If not, just double click it and then we can click and drag crossover over to our applications. In 
and then in our applications, find and double click crossover. For me, it says this version has expired, but for you, it will say two weeks. So I'm going to unlock the full version with my purchase info, which is also how you would do it if you did the free trial and then you ended up buying it later. You would have put in your email and password. Anyways, then you hit OK and then it will bring you here. You should see a bunch of icons here. If not, you're probably on the home screen. All you got to do is hit install on the bottom left. Then in the search bar, type in Genshin. It says installs will not run. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to get it running. Then you're going to hit install. It's going to download a bunch of stuff. It's going to ask you to agree to install. Also make sure you hit close, otherwise it won't continue installing. And we got to do it again. And this will pop up. It'll make you agree to their terms of service and privacy policy and then you can click quick installation. It takes a little bit over 100 gigabytes of space. I believe as of time of recording it was like 106. So click quick installation. It's going to install. Click finish and launch. It's going to create a new bottle with Genshin, Hoyo Play, and an uninstall button. And then the Genshin launcher will pop up. Click get game. You can select the installation path if you'd like. I would just leave it as is and then click start installation. That's going to take a while, so I'll be back when that's finished. Once it's downloaded, it should look like this. However, you don't want to press start yet. You can, it's not a big deal, but well, let me just show you what happens. If you press start, say activating, it will disappear. And then a couple seconds later, it will pop back up right on cue. Before I show you how to actually get the game running, you want a separate full window open. So if you're on a MacBook, if you three finger swipe to the right, you want to have a window here. Or if you're on like an iMac or something, if you press control and right arrow, there might be an easier way to do it, but I don't know how, but just make sure you have a separate window open for the sake of this tutorial. Now what you need to do is go into the upper right and click your Wi-Fi and turn it off. Then once your Wi-Fi is off, you can hit start game. Now it should actually load you into the game. There we are. It will say network error, obviously because you're not connected to any Wi-Fi or anything. So we need to turn the Wi-Fi back on. And which is why I said you need a separate window because I don't actually know how to minimize the Genshin window without exiting out of the game. So if you three finger swipe to the right or hit control and right arrow, It'll bring you to that separate window. You'll see the Genshin go into the bottom right hand corner. Then if we go back to our home page, we can turn the Wi-Fi back on and then in the bottom right, open up Genshin again. Hit confirm and this time you should be able to load in. Type in your username and password. Also, it might seem like you're not typing anything under the password. If you type, you can hear me pressing my keyboard. There's no dots or anything there, but if you hit the little eye icon, you can see it is typing just in case anyone was confused. It'll make you agree to their terms of service and privacy policy and then select your server and hit confirm. And then you can press start game to begin. It's going to download resources. And from here, you should be pretty much good to go. Um, by default, it does have you on the lowest graphics settings. So you can hit escape the little settings wheel in the bottom left graphics and you can either adjust it yourself or put it at whatever individual one you want. And if you want to play with controller, I don't remember if you need to pair your controller to your computer before you start crossover or not, but if it's not working, make sure you try that first. Now, if you could do me a favor, if you're going to play with crossover, please let me know what type of Mac you have, like what the RAM is and what type of chip you have, Air, Pro, or Max. And then please let me know what kind of performance you're getting, because I have the M1 Max, which is a pretty powerful chip. I'm not exactly sure how good it runs on lower spec models. And last thing, all the issues I ran into, I went over in the video. If you run into other issues, um, obviously feel free to comment them, but just know I might not be able to help because if I didn't experience the issue myself, I don't really know how to fix it. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the game. Subscribe for more Mac gaming news and tutorials. And that's about it. See ya.